Welcome to our Tempo Track tutorial. You can use a fixed tempo for your entire project or switch to Tempo Track mode. Select Project, Tempo Track. Activate, deactivate the Tempo Track using this button. When the Tempo Track is deactivated, the word Tempo here is faded, and right next to it, you can see the word Fixed. You can set up a fixed tempo by dragging this black line up and down, or just typing a numerical value right here. Activate your tempo track. Select the pencil tool. From the insert curve drop down menu, select jump. Activate snap mode if needed. I'm going to change the tempo at the second bar. The tempo jumps to 240 beats per minute at the second bar. From the Insert Curve menu, choose Ramp. And at the fourth bar, click the area around 120 beats per minute. Now we have a smooth tempo change from the second to the fourth bar. To adjust the tempo manually, select a point and use these up and down arrows. Use the selection tool and select the curve we just created. Now we can change the curve type by using this drop down menu. You can move a curve or an individual point by simply dragging it. You can draw a tempo line using the pencil tool, or you can record it using the tempo recording slider. Let's see how we can change the time signature on a portion of our project. Select the pencil. On bar 2, I'm going to change the time signature to 3 over 4. And on bar 4, back to 4 over 4. A time signature event can, posi can be positioned only at the start of a bar. You can move or delete a time signature event as well. Right click on the ruler and from this drop down menu you can select a different time format. Additional choices here are time linear and bars plus beats linear. Bars plus beats linear means that bars and beats are located at equal distances equal distances from each other regardless of the tempo change. In time linear mode, on the other hand, faster tempo areas, bars and beats, will be closer to each other on the timeline, and in slower tempo areas, they will be further apart. The last button on our toolbar opens the Process Tempo dialog window. The Process Tempo function allows you to fit a specified time length in a selected range. The Tempo track will automatically adjust the tempo to match this change. For example, let's say we want this region fixed in 2 seconds. Select the seconds from the Time Display Format drop-down menu. Here is our selection in bars and beats, and here in seconds. Enter the new length of the region here, and press Process. Now the time that you've determined fits in the specified range. 
If you're planning to use the same tempo track in different projects, use Export Tempo Track. You can get this from the File menu. Cubase will save the tempo track as a separate file. To import a tempo track, use Import Tempo Track also under the File menu. And this concludes our segment on tempo tracks.